daddy was in bed with the flu. He wasn't even out of bed. He was really, really sick. And the doctor had told him he had to stay in bed. So uh, we just didn't go to Houston that time. So it was Saturday morning and, you know, we're minding our business and taking care of Dad. And the phone rings and it was uh, President Trinnell on the phone. And he said, Roland, you've got to come to Houston. The brethren want you here now. The brethren have prayed for you. And this was Elder Lee and Elder Kimball. They've prayed for you. There is an airplane that leaves in so many minutes. We need you on that plane and we'll meet you. And Dad said, well, I can't make that plane. The doctor told me I had to stay. He said, the brethren have prayed for you. We need you in Houston. So Dad said, okay, I'm not going to get on the plane, but I'm coming. Mother was very flustered. Flustered, <laughs> yes. So we kind of grabbed our suitcases and threw things in. And like I said, Daddy was a big man, 6'4". But we laid him in the back seat of the car because he was literally too weak to sit up. And we were in the front, and Mother drove, and so we got over to Houston where they were going to uh, have the meeting. Now, it just so happens that President Trinnell had had hepatitis at the same time. So, Daddy had enough strength when to go in to the building, and President Trinnell had a cot in the stake president's office, and so he and Dad would take turns lying down on the cot, and um, it was under those sets of circumstances that Daddy was called to be the stake president, and you know the brethren had prayed for him, so he was fine. They were able to get the state completely organized. The high council was called. Everything was done that night so that the next morning everything was in place uh, when the, the, it was time for the meeting to begin.